I was spanked thoroughly by the big guy. No, no, not that big guy. I'm talking about the big guy in Florida. You know, the one that's devoted like his entire life to scripture. Well, Martin Zender did reply to my video in uh, one of his, and honestly, it is the most loving correction I think I've ever had in my life. I mean, it was like Ward Cleaver talking to Beaver, all right? So, anyway, but he did point out that I did misquote. So, I have right here the concordant literal New Testament with key word concordance right here. So, so the quote actually is, let's see, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 3, For I give over to, to you among the first what also I ex let's see, what also I accepted that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. Now that's what it says. Martin, you are correct, of course. Um, but here's the thing. Um, I watched a lot of science videos as a kid, so I'm always like, you know, thinking in that, in that respect. Um, and what I may have said in one of my videos before that one of my favorite quotes was from Mr. Wizard when he'd tell the kids, well, you're right, but for, for the wrong reason. And uh, unfortunately, that doesn't apply here. But um, I'm going to use a quote from another uh, science kid show, and this was called Julius Sumner Miller, and they made us watch this in uh, elementary school, maybe even into uh, middle school. But he was this dude with this crazy, like, Einstein hair, and um, uh, he would do experiments, like, you know, they throw rubber balls and uh, liquid nitrogen and drop them on the floor and watch them shatter. It was a great show. Um, you can see some of the clips on YouTube if you want to look them up. But uh, he'd start each show with, uh, How do you do, ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls? I'm Julius Sumner Miller, and physics is my business. But uh, he had a quote one time that I thought would fit uh, this discussion. And it was so great that I wrote it down because I didn't want to forget it. And it was this. It said, he said, To know something is quite unimportant. What you must do is understand it. And someone who believes in eternal torment... They might know 1 Corinthians chapter 15, uh, verse 3 through, uh, gosh, whatever it is. Um, yeah, 3 through uh, 5, I guess it is. I mean, they may know that. They may believe it. But they don't understand it. They don't understand what it means because otherwise they would go right on to uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 22, and they wouldn't believe in eternal torment anymore. But see, they have to deny that. They have to deny, uh, first, what is it, 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 10, I believe it is. I don't know. I, I am not I'm on scripture, I think you can tell. Um, but uh, I, I do learn things, and I do, things do uh, click, as it were. Let's see, First Timothy chapter 4, yeah. So, yes, okay, they would have to deny First Timothy chapter 4 verse, yeah, verse 10, right here. Uh, we rely on the living God, who is the Savior of all mankind, especially of believers. Now, so, uh, the title of this video is Just Because You're Technically Correct Doesn't Mean You're Right. And 
Martin, I will concede to you that, well, first of all, there's another point I wanted to make. First of all, God can save whoever he wants to in whatever order he wants to. That's, that's just the way it is. I mean, we could be snatched away and he could say, hey, you know what? Uh, I wanted to... Uh, I wanted to save you guys first, so here's the body of Christ. Oh, and I also saved the Minneapolis Women's Auxiliary Balloon League. And, oh, and uh, there was this uh, tribe of pygmies in Papua New Guinea that I, I just, I had to save. They are so adorable. They do this little dance, you know, and I, I had to have them right away. So um, I brought them up here, too. I mean, he could do that. It's he can do whatever he wants, but uh, the point I'm trying to make is these people. Okay, you have to look at the big picture. What is God trying to do here? Well, his whole purpose for the the fall and the the eventual salvation of all mankind, which we all believe in, let's face it. Uh, the whole purpose behind that is he's revealing himself to his creation. Well, the people who believe in the eternal torment, they have no idea who God is. They, they don't know who he is. I mean, they, they, they may read that one little snippet of scripture and believe it, but they don't understand it. They don't understand who he is. And, I mean, our whole purpose for going up there is to display uh, grace. So, I mean, if we're ruling and reigning, we've got to be ruling and reigning over something, some kind of celestial beings, right? Well, what are these infernalists going to get up there and go, okay, who are we going to torch? You know, and everybody else says, what are you talking about? You you don't know, like, okay. If I told you I was an Eric Clapton fan, and I said, I just, I live and breathe Clapton, you know, you gotta come over to my house. You would expect me to have a whole bunch of vinyl records of, like, Cream, Derek and the Dominoes, and, you know, stuff like that. Uh, maybe in the corner I've got uh, a Fender Stratocaster or a Gibson SG or an ES-335, something like that. Marshall amp, you know, and I'm really into Clapton, right? We get to my house, there's this stack of vinyl records with this, you know, guy on the cover playing an accordion. And you go over to the corner and you strap your accordion on and you start playing the beer barrel polka and you go, just like Clapton, you would look at me, you would look at that person and say, wait a minute, you have no idea who Eric Clapton is, do you? That's the same with the, the Infernalists. They have no idea who God is. So I don't think God can really use them. Could he save them as part of the body of Christ? Yeah, I, it's possible, sure. I think it's extremely unlikely, um, just because they, they're really not going to have anything to do up there. I mean, I think the, the, the people who are infernalists, I think their education is going to come at the Great White Throne when they go, oh, wait a minute, God isn't a monster. But, um, yeah... <laughs> Okay, Martin, it's possible. It's very, it's very unlikely, like I said. Um, but uh, anyway, I think that's it. I think I've spoken long enough. Oh, and why are my videos so short? Because nobody has any time in the 21st century, man. I mean, I'm lucky if I find 10 minutes a day to shower and shave. Okay. Nobody has any time. That's why my videos are short, quick. You know, I just get to the point, and that's it, and we're done. But uh, this, unfortunately, I guess, required a little more today. But anyway, I love you guys. Love you, Martin. I do uh, very much. So anyway, just had to get my two cents in.
See you guys later.